We become the righteousness of God when we believe in Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. When we believe that Jesus Christ died on that cross and raised again in the third day, we can be justified of our sins because we believe that he paid the price, that God made him to become sin and he made us righteousness. He transferred the righteousness that, the righteousness that was upon Jesus came for us. And the punishment that we deserved fell on Jesus Christ. If we believe in the sacrifice, if we believe in the process that God made his son to go through, we can be saved. Because why Jesus Christ passed through the process? He passed through the process for me and you do not pass through the same process. Because that what we deserved you know in the cross you can you can learn about the severity of god concerning sin and also the severity of god concerning sinners jesus christ took our place he took the punishment the chastisement that we deserved and he bare on himself that punishment in order for us to have his righteousness you know, this is the way that God established salvation. When we believe that he paid the price and he did the hard work. And when we believe that in the blood of Christ, we can have the forgiveness of our sin. That the blood of Christ was enough to forgive us and to clean us of every unrighteousness. Then we can receive his righteousness. And sanctification, it's a process that we enter after we receive Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and we were justified of our sins. Now we enter in the process of sanctification. Sanctification, it's the fruit of righteousness. Righteousness is a gift from God, but sanctification is a process. Righteousness is a gift, but sanctification is a process. Sanctification is a state of consecration to the Lord. You consecrate all your heart, all your mind, and all yourself to the purpose of God and to His work here on this earth.